we're gonna look at this FMAX 207, which we say is basic, but in terms of uh, the gooseneck market, when you're looking at goosenecks, the FMAX 207 is anything but basic. It's, it's an extraordinary unit in that it has the same engineer beam technology as all of our other FMAXs, uh, and there are things about this trailer that come standard as standard equipment, whereas in other brands, they would be options. And it's things that we don't sacrifice. You know, we're not gonna make it an option because we know that at the end of the day, it contributes to the customer experience that when you're investing hard earned dollars into this trailer, it needs to be pretty well the best of the best from the get go. Yes, there are tons of options. You can add to it on top of the base, but this FMAX 207 has features that um, that other goosenecks in the market just just wish they could offer so like i say it is the fleet neck engineered beam now the 207s and the lighter weight uh, fleet necks they don't have as much camber in the frame as what you see on the big ones that's because obviously they're not uh, rated to have to carry nearly as much weight so you don't need as much compensation in the bed but this frame is cambered the beams are engineered. The frame on this one is a 14 inch I-beam frame. Industry standard on this trailer is 12 inch, 14 pound beam, uh, sometimes 12 inch, 19. But in this case, you're talking about a two inch taller beam overall, which height definitely makes up strength. Um, and we have full control over the beam, the thickness of the material, the height, and we, you know, there, there's a lot of power to weight ratio here. Now on the shorter 207s, the weight savings is not as drastic or as big of a number as it is when you do say like that air ride that Brian is standing beside over there. You know, when they're that long, you get a lot more opportunity for weight savings. So the weight of this in a traditional I-beam trailer are a lot closer. Uh, they're, they're not so drastic, but you've got massive power gains in the height of the beam and the uh, yield strength of the materials. So, there are things on the FMAX 207, kind of like this, this engineered neck. You have the radiuses in the neck. These are, I'm pointing out characteristics of all, you see even these other engineered beam goosenecks. This is characteristics of all of them, but it's so, it's such a value add that we put it into the, even the basic, well, you say basic 207 as well. The big wide toolbox, dual jack standard. You got the pull out steps and on this one at the back there's max ramps so the 207 you know that we were just talking about in most cases, that trailer is going to be found on the farm going to be hauling you know general equipment could be on a light construction site uh, hauling maybe a small excavator or skid steer or something like that uh, most of the time you know tractor kind of general general usage so when we have that that conversation about what you're using the trailer for. I've mentioned several times hot shot. Hot shot, hot shot, hot shot's growing industry. There's tons of interest in it. Uh, and right now with the, 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 the state of the demand and on products and with the economy just roaring like it is, uh, there is an increased demand for hot shot trailers. And so, and it varies. I mean, not everybody is a 40K load hot shotter that wants to deal with that kind of weight. There are tiers kind of of hot shot. And what's right here, this blue one, is a FMAX 208. And it looks to be, you know, I don't know the customer personally, but the way this one was built, uh, I just um, can imagine he went online, had a specific job he's doing. He is hot shotting, you know, kind of uh, maybe lots of partials, some sometimes some, uh, you know, single kind of more concentrated loads. But the 208's a great trailer for that because it's got, you know, the 8K axles under which have bigger brakes than 7Ks, but it keeps a single tire. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Weight wise, it lands, you know, between that 210 and that 207. So it's not eating up a lot of your available payload while being rated at 18,000 GVWR. So this one in blue, he's got slide track and ratchets. He's right there, he's got, like we saw earlier, he's got the eight and a half foot long dunnage rack, max ramps. So the cool thing about these 8Ks on this one, it appears they are, they got the Valcrum oil caps. I'm trying to see, yeah, for sure. These are disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes on this one, which provide again, better stopping power and lesser overall maintenance cost in the future. He's got the, we talked about the full width chain, right? Well, this one has 
the 16 inch chain rack. So it gives you space for a, a few chains there. And what else? He also opted for the winch plate, a couple extra toolboxes on the side. It's a sweet intermediate hot shot trailer, but with the AK axles, you know, definitely is built for the road. It's got 215, 17 fives on it. Going to be able to see a lot of mileage with no, um, you know, be able to see a lot of mileage compared to like a 7K with a 10 ply tire or even a 14 ply tire. These are regroupable tires and should make for a fantastic midweight or mid-class hotshot trailer. Well, back up, back up. So on this 208, one thing I got to do, I got a plug for our boy Tevin with VA Hotshots. If you haven't followed him, go jump on YouTube and follow or subscribe to VA Hotshots. He runs a 208 very similar to this, 40 foot, it's red. Go check out his videos. He's got some testimonials on it. He actually is living, breathing proof of somebody who's used a trailer just like this to make a living day in and day out.